Hello everyone. So today we'll be discussing something that was asked uh, the last time in the comments by a viewer on what is really gender. So um, it's not just going to be a video on gender, it's going to be more than that. And this is a, a, a topic which I myself didn't know well or know at all un until I was into my late teens. And that was because I didn't have any materials related to this that I could access in my childhood, puberty, teens as such. And uh, there was nothing about this taught at school. Maybe the biology part that comes into the whole thing, but that's about it. Uh, there was nothing about the differences and the similarities and uh, the other uh, issues that come into this topic. And amongst a lot of people that I have talked to about this, it, the situation has been pretty much the same. There's nobody to talk to about these matters, nobody to tell you about these matters until you find it by yourself when you grow up. So coming to our topic, it's going to be the differences between sex, gender and sexuality. So to start with a simple overview, sex is about your body, about your organs, anything related to those kind of things and that's what comes under sex. Coming to gender, Gender is how you perceive yourself to be, what you think you are, who you think you are, and that's what is gender. And sexuality is all about the involvement of a third person in the question, and that's literally about who you like, sexually or romantically, who you have feelings for. So this was the OV of a preview of what we're gonna see today and now we're gonna get deep into the topic so we'll be starting with sex so sex as i told earlier this is about the anatomy your anatomy and that um, involves uh, your hormones uh, your um, chromosomes and uh, your genitals, all these things, and it is usually the genitals which uh, the doctor sees during the ultrasound or uh, when the baby is born that determines their sex. Like uh, the doctor would say that it is a girl, it is a boy, or so and so, and that they mean it to be sex, but it ends up determining um, the baby's life and that turns into gender. And uh, I'll be going into why that happens, but then uh, let's see what are the different kind of sexes. So unlike how we usually think, there are three sexes. It's not two, it is three. Okay, the last one might be a bit more like comparatively rarer than the first two common ones that we think we know, but that doesn't mean that they have just popped up right now or they have never existed or anything like that. It's just there hasn't been much history about when I say much again, remember that it does not mean that there has been no history about them. There has been history about them, recorded history. It's just that it hasn't been much as compared to their counterparts. So the three sexes that I'm talking about, amongst that the first one is XY, that is male, as we all know, and then there is XX, that is female, again, as we all know, and the third one is intersex. And there are about 30 plus varieties of how a person can be intersex. And some of these variations are visible when they're born, while some others only become visible when um, 
they reach uh, the teens, that is in their puberty time. So it is different for different people. And there is more details into this, which we'll be going into another separate video on intersex in the near future. Um, we'll get into the next part of our topic, which I have been talking about earlier, and that is gender. So gender, as I told, it, as much as how it, uh, like, as much as uh, how it means that how we perceive ourselves, it also means the societal norms that is implanted, kind of imposed on someone from the moment they're born. So you can say that gender is literally a social construct. You, you can't say that a person, be it male or female, which is the most common categories and the only categories that we are taught to believe that is available. So uh, being a man or a woman or a boy or a girl, the roles they have to play in the society is actually imposed by the society because if we think about it, these roles are similar in different countries but it is not the same everywhere. And when it is different, it is a proof to the fact that it was imposed. Or it is supposed to be the same all around. I mean, like, we say that people who are assigned female at birth are usually the ones who conceive. And that is because that is a universal truth. While the other part is not. So coming back to the gender part, these rules are assigned based on whether one person looks male or female and that decides whether they become a boy or a girl or a man or a woman. So what we gotta understand here is that male and female are sex related terms while boy, girl, man, woman are gender related terms and sometimes people cannot relate with the rules that are imposed on them they perceive themselves differently and that's when they realize that they're gender non-conforming and some examples uh, to gender non-conforming people are uh, transgender people non-binary people etc there are more and more to this which we will again explore in the future videos. So do subscribe and put on uh, your notifications because I'll be coming with more uh, videos. Um, getting back to a topic, because it is different for different people, that's the reason why we call gender as gender identity. So gender, you can literally say that it is a short form or short term for gender identity and um, of course this might not be easy from the get-go but that doesn't mean that it is not important or it is something that we can ignore so, um, so as i told there is transgender and there's also cisgender and these both are different things and cisgender, to say it simply, it means that uh, your gender is the same as the sex you were assigned at birth. And trans, of course, means the opposite. And this is about the brief explanation that we'll go through in this video about what gender means. And uh, our next topic is sexuality. Who you like. Who you like, who you have feelings for romantically or sexually and that is called sexuality or sexual orientation. And this is what you usually would call um, heterosexual, homosexual, gay, bisexual, pansexual, just bi, pan, asexual and there's a lot more categories in this to explore which Again, we'll be going through in another uh, video. 
Um, statistically, of course, there are more heterosexual people than uh, homosexual, but then that doesn't mean that uh, the number of homosexual or queer people are small. Actually, it is quite big when we don't compare it with the heterosexual population of the world. And they have been existing since time immemorial. And like me, we are not going anywhere. And this is a card that I have uh, borrowed from Tom Daly from uh, his recent documentary, uh, Illegal to be Me. Um, so coming back to our subject at hand, we don't know much about homosexuality or often we are forced or conditioned in a way that we tend to think that homosexuality or being trans is wrong. But then if you look at it, it might be because we don't have much history or materials to refer to because we often don't understand that queer or trans people are as human as anybody else. I mean, at least I consider myself human and my family considers myself human. So that attests to something. Um, coming to queer history, this uh, is usually because either in some communities, being queer wasn't much of a huge thing. And that is because we, and that is why we didn't hear much about queer people back then. Or uh, in another case, a lot of the queer history has been forcibly erased. And that is also one of the reasons why we haven't heard about queer people much up until the recent few years. So it is not like queer people or gay people have popped up just in this decade or so. No, we have been existing since time immemorial, as I told earlier. And yes, this is a bit of a heavy topic to touch upon. But then what we touched upon today is just the tip of the iceberg. We have a lot to go through, a lot to understand as human beings. And that is part of life. We have a lot of unlearning and relearning to do and continue our education as human beings, continue our learning as human beings. And that is part of life. And that is what I want to do using my channel here. So if you have any doubts on what I said today or anything you want me to talk about, um, feel free to leave comments. Actually, I'm looking forward to what you guys have to say. And uh, sorry uh, if I missed, upon, missed a touch upon anything and sorry if uh, anything I said was wrong. Uh, and I'll be looking forward uh, to the correct forms of what I said if I did say anything wrong. So thank you folks again for listening. We'll be um, seeing each other with a new topic in the next video.